Jojo is very committed to education in and around water. You know, uh, Jojo's uh, slogan is uh, "Water for Life," and it really is important to us to be able to educate people and to really bring the focus of how important water is in our water scarce country. There is a need for water filtration systems in different levels of our society. There's a lot of uh, micro contaminants in our water at the moment, and uh, we need to be able to filter those. Water has substantial for lots and lots of contaminants. The normal contaminants is um, suspended solids, which are normally mechanically filtered out. Then you've got chemicals, you've got dissolved minerals, um, you've got trace pharmaceuticals, and then you've got a whole host of what we call biological contaminants. And those are bacteria, viruses, cysts, fungi. In that subset of contaminants are the, are the dangerous uh, pathogens. That, uh, that you don't want in your drinking water. The dis disruptor technology was de developed by a company called Argonite for NASA, and then it was later uh, licensed to a company called Alstrom, which in partnership with a company called Chemflow, and now it's with Jojo in South Africa. It started as something to be used in space, and now it's been made available to, to you know, worldwide application. The technology used by Jojo is the disruptor technology, and it has the classification 5293 PACS. The PAC stands for powdered activated carbon, and the S stands for silver. In the disruptor media, the disruptor uses the electroabsorption to pull some of the contaminants out. Then it has the powdered activated carbon to add to that filtration process, and the silver helps to keep the filter clean when all the contaminants are sitting inside it. It um, has a positive charge and uh, the negative charged contaminants are attracted by the positively charged media. Submicron particles are almost exclusively negatively charged um, and that's why the disruptor filter works so well. It's exceptionally good at removing uh, viruses, uh, E. coli, pharmaceuticals and chlorine. When Jojo was looking at the disruptor technology, we had a lot of very, very positive documentation to base our decisions on going forward using the technology. That wasn't enough for us, so we went into that additional testing. We had them being used under normal circumstances, and then we had various types of water that we, we pushed through the filters. We actually took water from the Bromfontein Sprite and just had a look and, and saw you know, how dirty the water was and how, how contaminated the water was. And, what the filter was able to do. Um, and we also wanted to get a good feeling for the quality control, how well the media was applied in the products that we were purchasing. The findings were actually excellent, um, virtually across the board. Uh, the filter bottle itself was the first product we tested and uh, it performed better than the so-called life straw. In other words, its removal of contaminants was, uh, was higher than the nanofibers that that are used in the life straw. Municipalities nowadays have needed to rely heavily on overchlorination to try and get their waters to safe drinking levels. The disruptive technology works exceptionally well at reducing the levels of chlorine in our residential water. The filter requires zero uh, energy. It doesn't require additional pump to push water through it. It doesn't generate any waste water like reverse osmosis. Uh, so it's remarkable. Our products are, can be used under music pressure or under pump pressure in both the urban and rural markets. The rural market, the water is unreliable and unpredictable. Various filters and various methods are used to make water potable in rural markets. But we've actually started developing a filter which goes inside a tank. Um, it includes the disruptor media. Um, but it's, it's a special low pressure filter so that it can operate effectively under the, under the head of the water in the tank. Um, and this is under test at the moment. The disruptive technology is allowing us to do things so much more efficiently as far as filtration goes. To get this level of filtration historically has taken excessive power, energy and cost. Jojo have tried really hard to have a full range of products got products that are easy for on-the-go type filtration like bottles. We have jugs that you can comfortably put inside your fridge for, for the casual glass of water. We have some other permanently fitted uh, products that, are, that can do long-term filtration like under-counter, above-counter. And we even have a whole house filtration unit that can filter all the water going into your house. This filter range 
and understanding the technology and using technology and being able to bring to life the Salter range um, and, and market it to the consumers in South Africa. You know, I think it augments our slogan of Jojo for Water for Life because now we're able, able to say Jojo, healthy water for a healthy life.